Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Um, I'm going to do kind of a quick impromptu six week update on both me and Rowan. Uh, so starting out with Rowan, uh, last week at five weeks um, I took him to the doctor. Uh, he was weighed and not measured, which I was kind of annoyed about, and I meant to do it myself, um, just like laying him down on the table and doing it myself um, while we were at the doctor's office, and then they left the door open, um, like he, the doctor left and left the door open, and I was like, yeah, it'll be a little weird if I just do it myself, so I didn't do it, um, but I intend to have my husband help me quite soon to see what he his length is. Uh, but anyway, his weight was um, 11 pounds, 2 ounces. Uh, he's still exclusively breastfeeding. Obviously, it's working really well. <laughs> um, he's eating about every two hours um, during the day. At night, he does a nice longer stretch. We put him down between 7 and 8. Um, we start bedtime, like, when he starts to get tired. If it's, like, 6.45, we start then. If it's 7, we start then. Uh, just depends on when he had his last nap. Um, and then he does a nice long stretch. Um, last night he did 5 hours. Um, sometimes he does 6 hours. Sometimes he only does 4 hours. You know, for us that's good. Um, and then after that he eats and immediately goes back to sleep. And then um, does anywhere between 2 and 4 four hours, the next stretch, um, and then eats, goes back to sleep, and then who knows what time he's going to wake up. Uh, today I had to wake him up early because he had to go somewhere, um, but he probably would have slept. <laughs> um, trying to think. He's grown out of his newborn clothes, obviously. He's in zero to three months. Um, some of them are still a little bit big. Um, baby clothes sizes are so weird and you can never trust them. So, um, he's finally gotten into a point where he's not grumpy all the time. <laughs> uh, he's definitely grumpier between, um, like five and seven. That's like his time where he's just pretty much unhappy. Uh, he needs a change of scenery constantly, uh, during that period. So we go outside, we go for a walk, we go back inside, we sit on the swing, um, that's out in our backyard. Um, it's really hard because that's when I cook dinner. Um, so I've been trying to cook dinner or get things, a lot of things prepared either, um, sometime throughout the day or during that very last nap before dinner is about to start. Um, I found that if I get pretty much everything prepped or, um, even cooked, uh, I can either just reheat or, um, assemble really quickly. Even if he's crying, he's just going to have to sit there for a minute. Um, let's see, he, he's getting smiles, it's so cute, he's smiling now, he's uh, cooing, ah, ah, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, um, I put it up on my personal one, but I'll definitely put it up on my, um, um, this one, uh, my band baby Ashley one, um, of him talking to me. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, he's size one diapers. Um, we're going to start cloth diapering very soon. I have them down. I need to wash them. Um, I just They're literally like sat right in front of me and I constantly forget about them. <laughs> um, my son, my older son is, is still doing really well with him. Um, and Rowan is starting to acknowledge my older son, uh, watch him and be entertained by him a little bit. Um, I think that's mostly it for Rowan. Uh, I will definitely, after this, he's sleeping in his car seat, because uh, we just got back from the consignment sale. Um, and I will bring you over there in a minute and show you to show you him. Um, but as for me, um, yesterday I had my six weeks postpartum appointment. Um, she said everything looks fine down there. A few days ago, maybe four days ago, five days ago, I had some spotting, um, like, almost like your period was coming, and I, <laughs> I sat in the bathroom, and I was like, if I effing get my period back at six weeks postpartum, I'm gonna be so pissed. Um, with my older son, I got it back at five months postpartum, which I still thought was unnecessary and not fair, because I was definitely exclusively breastfeeding. Um, 
what can you do? <laughs> the only good thing about that was it became very regular until it became very irregular. Um, when I, I think it was, my body likes a certain weight. Um, and if I stay within that certain weight, I have a regular period. And when I go, I was, gosh, 70 pounds higher than that delightful weight that it likes. Uh, it did not like that. <laughs> so uh, it became very irregular after that. Anyway, uh, speaking of my period, uh, we discussed what kind of birth control um, we want to do. I say we, but it's always me, right? Like, uh, generally. Um, at my one or two week postpartum update, I had, um, sorry, appointment, I had said that I'd probably just go back on the pill. I haven't taken the pill in over six years. Um, and I was really good at taking it when I did take it. I had an alarm on my phone and I kept it in my book bag, like book bag, purse. I was in college, so backpack thing. Uh, and so I always had it with me and it was easy. Uh, now I don't feel like it's going to be that easy. Uh, I could definitely hear that alarm and just not go and take it because I've gotten wrapped up in something else, whatever. Um, so... I had started looking into uh, the arm implant. I'm definitely not going to get an IUD. They scare the crap out of me. It's not going to happen. <laughs> um, and so I sent a message um, like through the patient portal to um, my doctor about maybe getting the arm implant. And so we talked about that yesterday. She said that um, insurance, if they cover it, has to cover it. <laughs> And um, they need to special order it because they don't just keep them, you know, in the in the office. So at this point, I don't even know what I'm going to get. Our new our insurance just switched in Jan in July. They're switching again in J uh, January. So maybe if they don't um, cover it now, they might in January. If that's the case, and until this point, until we know whether or not it can happen and whether I get it in we'll just be using condoms in the probably rare occasion that we have sex <laughs> so um, other than that I pretty much like I weighed me yesterday I think I'm like maybe two pounds heavier than my pre-pregnancy weight I'm not exactly sure um, their, sc their scale is different than my scale, and I haven't weighed myself on my scale. I know my pregnancy weight on my scale, not on theirs. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or, um, wanted to know anything else about how we are, what, what's going on in our life, um, send me a message and I'll make another video because, as you know, I can't respond to messages. <laughs> um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, definitely you can send me um, a comment there and I can definitely reply there. My username on Instagram is band underscore baby underscore Ashley. Bye. I just realized I promised I would show you Rowan. So. This is Rowan. Six weeks old, I'll try and pan up.